Hi, Cher. Oh I'm so excited to be doing your makeup today, I have to say. It's long overdue, isn't it? It really is. is. Absolutely. I'm excited to work with you. You're so fresh faced. Oh, bless you. You've prepped the skin with flawless moisture. I have indeed, guessing. yes. Okay. I'm going to do your makeup today. We're going to do a few looks actually, which is really exciting. We're going to build it up three different stages. Ah. So I'm going to start, we're going to crack on straight away yes. with something that I am so excited about. I'm sure that you are literally ecstatic. <laughs> it's the new Flawless Lip. <gasps> My new baby. Yeah, no, I'm really excited about this one. Because I think lip balm is just an essential in everyone's kit, right? I mean, I don't leave the house without one, do you? Absolutely not. Mm. I'd actually rather, like, in my coat pocket, I've got one. I've got one in my bag, my makeup <laughs> yes. bag. But it's finding the right one, because I do find sometimes that some lip balms do dry my lips out. And I've yeah. got this one on now. And I have to say I love it already. So I'm yeah. excited. So anytime I do any makeup, I always, the first thing I do after the face is moisturise and prepped is pop lip balm on. So that when the makeup is being applied, your lip is having a nice bit of hydration before any lipsticks. And it's mm -hmm. almost like a bit of preparation and nourishment for the lips. It's lovely, just warm up on gloss, its own. good hasn't it? Really nice. It's not too shiny. Mm. I'm just going to pop it in with my fingertips a little bit as well. Now, we both wear the same foundation and the same shade, I think. I think maybe you're one shade lighter. Really? Because I, I wear a little bit of fake tan on my face. But we both wear Armani Luminous Silk. Love. Which is lovely. 4.5 your shade. Yep. I'm going to use a couple of brushes. Now, we're going to do something quite um, paired back. So this will be like your gym look. So it'd be a very, very sheer bit of base, first of all. Okay. Um, almost nothing really for the gym, but let's face it, I do wear something to the gym. Same. Do you? Healthy glow, a little bit of redness, neutralisation, um, a little bit of definition around the brows and lashes, please. Absolutely. <laughs> and I always curl the lashes. Always. Same. So we'll add a little bit of your concealer as well, and um, we'll get the brows a little bit more filled out, but I think ultimately you just want the features to stand out a little bit, but not too overdone for the gym. Yeah, well, I sort of, in the morning if I go, I'm, I'm in and out, and I, I tend to just touch up base that I've got on. I will tend to have done my skincare before my gym routine, that's just how I do it. Um, what about you? I, the first thing I do when I wake up is, uh, once I've cleansed, I just put all the treatment, all the skincare products on, and then try and leave makeup for as long as I can before I leave the house. Yeah. Um, but for the gym, I try just to, uh, sorry, for the gym, I just put some tinted moisturiser on, curl the lashes, and I do put a bit oh, of mascara on. <laughs> <laughs> Even though people are like, you shouldn't really wear makeup for gym. I'm like, I think most women do. I think most women do. Look, the way I look at it is, if you start off with products that don't clog your skin in the first place, you're not going to run into trouble. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Dewy, fresh, not too much. Nice like. and fresh, and then I'm just gonna use my fingertips just to press this in yeah. as well. Now I'm gonna put concealer on because sometimes your concealer is all you need with a tiny bit of base. I do love this concealer from Sisley. Yeah, we both like that one too, huh? We have the same, literally the same makeup routine. Who knew? Who would have thank it? Right, so this is shade one. Yeah, as I say, I, I, I kind of, I flirted with others for a while and I've come back to it. And now that I have had that experience, I appreciate it all the more. It's, it's just the right shade for great you as well, tones. It? Yeah. I tend to always put a little bit on the eyelids as well as under the eyes with concealer, just to even everything out. Yeah, where any, wherever you have little blood vessels poking through, you'll get blue. Exactly. And then that's, you know, hollows and shadows, which is no good thing around the eyes. I have to say, I have quite a few freckles on my eyelids. So, Do you? Yeah, That's so, pretty though. Yeah, but you know, it's almost like I want to prevent any kind of sun damage on the lids. Yeah. And I think I put SPF all over my face, but okay. I don't always do the lids. Don't you? So concealing on the lids for me is like a protection as well. Mm. Would you say that's a good idea? You know, sunscreen around the eyes is so important. And I think often labelling on the sunscreen packages to avoid eyes but they literally mean what don't get it in the eye. Whereas the skin there is, as you say, super thin and precious. So I really educate patients about sunscreen on the actual lids. I mean, it's difficult, you know, some sunscreens do sting a little, but I think at least on the under eye, you know, okay. the upper lid, you're kind of protected a little because the eye's open. And I think people, you know, wear sunglasses if, if it's not raining, basically. Okay. I have to say, Definitely, and I wear SPF in my hands now, which I never used Good to. Good girl, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, 
I use my hands all the time, so they need this to... This and this should match. Yes. You know. I did find that my right hand, where the one that I apply products is on my left, so it actually looks, you can see the difference. Can you see the difference slightly? Tiny bit. Because of the amount of creams I put on my left That's hand every interesting. day. So SPF for the hands is a must for me from now. A founder of a sunscreen brand consciously left one hand unprotected over the course of his uh, career. And by the time he got to his 60s or 70s, you could literally just look you at his hands and see, no. well, wow. if you ever doubted sunscreen was an anti-aging product. What a commitment from him as right. well to be like, Very okay, smart. I'm going to do this. Yeah. But your skin is dreamy. Bless so, you. so nice. I do love fingertips for concealer. I just think it just pushes it into the right places and... It melts and then you get the warm it warms it up. Exactly. Mm. You have a little bit under your brow to see... Give the shape a little bit and a bit on top. Any top tips for concealing, you know, shadows around the eyes, tear troughs? Absolutely right. So mm. lots of the um, lots of the people that I see on Instagram, they do like concealer all over here. These big swathes. And I'm like screaming at the screen. Are you? Because so, yeah, I'm just hard. You yeah, it's one of those things that I'm like, this is the only part I conceal. If you imagine the Chanel C's in your mind, it's almost <laughs> visually. Very easily. <laughs> yeah. Too easily, some might say. So it's almost like going through in part, this part of the eye, the inner part is where the most shadow is. You don't yeah. need any concealer here. No. If you want to put a little bit to clean up a smoky eye or something, yeah. you can just use what's left on your brush, but concealer will tend to sit because a lot of the time it's emollient based and it will just maybe sit and become a little bit crepey if there's any fine lines. Yes. So stick to the inner part of the nose and like right in here with your fingers in there, kind of just push it through. Mm -hmm. Look up for me. And I, I just think, don't take the concealer too far up to the lash line. Yeah. Because you end up having that really stark kind of, you're wearing concealer kind of vibe. If you kind of leave it a little bit, it still looks very authentic and just healthy looking. Mm -hmm. You don't really get darkness on this part, like shadows. Well, I think a tear trough is pretty much inevitable for most of us. But, um, that's what concealer is for. Absolutely. Right, let's pop a little bit of brow product through your brows. Mm -hmm. I have to say, do you tint them? Are they tinted? No, wow, you're lucky. I definitely over-tweeze um, over mine in the 90s. Same. But mine didn't ever really grow back, so I have a lot of product in my brows generally. Well, Lumigan's quite good for that. You know, the lash growth on prescription. You put it in your brows too, and you get a little bit more. Um, I might try that, actually, mm. because I just would love to wake up and have a bit more. Definition, just yeah, without sure. doing anything. Yeah. It makes them slightly darker as well, actually. Thicker, darker, and longer. Can you get carried away with it? I do have a patient who uses it once a week because otherwise her lashes scratch in her glasses. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> they almost like curl back on themselves. Literally. Wow. Good problems to have. Exactly. And then a little bit of like clear brow gel through the brows just to keep your brows in place. So everything just looks a little bit more polished. I like enough. Your brows look up and your lashes look curled already. So what have you done to your lashes today? <laughs> have you curled them already? I gave them a light curl, you know. I feel a bit naked coming little on here without eyes. any beds. <laughs> look down for me. Which ones do you use? I use the, these are Tweedsman. Nice little uh, bronzy mm. rose gold. Now, lash curling for me is an absolute essential. Is that feel all right? Yep. Like wearing a bra. It Ten times, <laughs> literally. It's like you've got to get it right. And it literally makes such a difference to the overall lash mm. and mascara application and so many people don't curl their lashes for whatever reason but I think once you start you're like ah. gorgeous I'm gonna give you you've got your mirror there to have a little look yes well I think especially you know you get a little heavy as we age on the upper you know lash just you know here and I think it just creates that upward movement that um ooh, I've got a little tiny bit of <laughs> I just spotted that I've got a little tiny bit of pressure on this. Just oh, a bit of gorgeous a bit of health in, in a pot. Is that a Stila? Stila. You know, I, 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 say I do try a lot of things, but in the end, you just find those products that work for you, that give you that finish, polished but not too done. Oh, you do know? You know what? And it I wears mean, nicely in the day, you know? Kind of. You found your hero products. The day <laughs> we're actually using all of Sam's I'm makeup. Glad you from approve makeup of them. Bag. Absolutely. Mm. Right, that would be my gym look for you. Yep. There's very minimal um, coverage, but it's just your skin can breathe. Fresh. It looks fresh, gorgeous, dewy. Yeah, I like. 
Perfection. So I think we should build up a little bit more now. Okay, add a little so bit more. Going to the office now, done the workout, girls. Done the workout, she's looking <laughs> fresh as ever. There's no redness on you whatsoever. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'd add a little bit more foundation. The T zone, like a little bit of redness. Yeah, I think always up, yeah. start from like the nose and like do that kind of T area because yeah. that's the kind of area that sweats the most, isn't it? And people touch the nose all the time and the chin and the forehead. I'm definitely redness prone, Celtic genes and all that. So um, I keep my clinic room quite cold. Do you? Yeah, and I, I'm careful with my caffeine because I do find I would tend to be a bit more flashy in a warm, dry room. Okay. So, um, do you have the heating on in your house? I do, but you know, not too, not too blasted. You know? Wear lots of layers. I prefer to wear, yeah, and I, I keep meaning to get a humidifier for the bedroom. I haven't yet, but well, I've got one. Do you I think it makes a difference? I've actually done it. Like I need to set it up. Now that you've said it, it will help. I'm definitely going to do it. Well, I think if you're prone to dry lips, particularly, and you know, if you've got a cold and you're, you know, breathing in dry air and you're breathing through your mouth, all of that can really contribute to chap lips when you wake up in the morning and just that just feels rotten doesn't it absolutely and always put a layer of lip balm on before you go to bed especially if you're using a retinoid because you know even with the most precise 13 dot technique you can move around okay and get any lips so before bed before bed a nice, a nice layer of lip balm before you go to sleep right i'm gonna have one of these flawless lips next to my bed <laughs> <laughs> give me 10 so i can have one every, everywhere in the house <laughs> Family pack. Do you do that for every day? Yeah, every, yeah, always do. done that. And sometimes my ears as well. Really? Mm. Get through a lot I of foundation. Need to make more effort. I'm going to add a little bit more brows just to fill them out just slightly as well. Okay. This is a great pen. I, I like, like it a lot. lot yeah. Right now, for your eyes for every day, what would you normally wear? Just mascara, uh, unless I was doing something, I know, camera event, and then I would do a little bit of a sort of nude, like base, just to stop eyeliner transferring. I do a, a small cat flick, and that's I think it. Your cat flick is you. I've always, when I see you done, I always see you lovely. Do you do that liner like yourself, obviously every day. You do it every day, but I'm all yes. I think I'm okay with a felt tip pen. I do find. The shorter ones, you know, the small travel sizes are easier to control. So I'll use the um, the Ico one. Right. Do you ever or use the a, Benefit one? Do you ever use a pot with a brush? No, I haven't graduated onto the. I think it'd be great gel one of those. Liner. I think it gives a nicer result. Whenever I've had it done properly, I think it's um, somehow a little more doe-eyed look. I don't know. Maybe the lines better or something. You've got a bit more play time with it as well if you kind of want to just kind of manipulate the shape. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a base on you for MAC. We're going to use groundwork, which is what Yes, I've used that before. Day. Repaintly is quite nice as well, but yeah, that kind of buff. Just like base. skin tone, skin Very tone nice. shade. And it's just going to just be a really nice base, even if you're not wearing any eyeshadows. Okay, just using a blending brush all over the eyelid. Now, I like really quite simple techniques of makeup. I don't want to like overcomplicate it. And I think that's what... That's why I like your style. <laughs> really, I don't want to like faff around. You could do this on a train, you could do this on a taxi or, yeah. you know, on the school run or whatever. It's, it's simple, it's quick. You could use your fingertips. You don't need a thousand brushes. Love that. Well, I mean, for me, if I'm going out straight from the office, you know, I want to, a couple of key things I can introduce. It's a bit like changing your shoes, you know, just to sort of change the, the mood slightly. Slightly, yeah. Feel a little more pulled together. Maybe the hair is a little more tousled and volumatic. We do liner now, or we do liner for the for the evening. I'm entirely in your hands. Let's do you lashes. Let's do a lashes. bit more blush and then a nice nude lip. Okay. Now the superhero for it cosmetics. Again, we both love this one. I've got this on today, and I love the brush. I love the amount of product that's on it. Put it down for me, and you get the. It's a lot of, of product like on it. I do lot. wipe it off. I wipe it off a little bit for daytime, but I would use it fully loaded for the night. Literally, and you do know what? In the day, you can add more of this. Yeah. And it doesn't clog. So if you are going from like desk to disco, you can literally get it on there and it really does like, kind of like add that vamp, vamp it up. I used to use oh all God. false like Look powder. Look at your lashes. Let me see. <laughs> are they fat? Yeah, they are. They are fat right, lashes. So that's without. Ooh. Ooh, I mean, it's a lot for day, but I love a lash. So let's go for I think everything else day. is quite pared back. It really is, yeah. And they're sort of combed through and not too... 
you know, like sometimes a clumpy vibe is quite nice, you know. Oh, my Jane oh, broken. Is a great shape, and you don't tint them. No, that's just slim again. If you put that on your lashes, it darkens them as well. And it, you get double the length in about eight weeks. Yeah, it's a, prescri it's a prescription drug. It has to be prescribed, but it's... Is it like it a lash? No, it's prescription only. So in the US, it's Latisse. Okay. So it's pretty safe and everything to use. And you can... Can you get carried away with it and just keep going and going? Or do they kind of monitor you so you don't end up... Yeah, well, you, we have us, have us give you the prescription. Should um. You Check do it in. daily for eight weeks, and then you reduce the frequency to maintain it. And oftentimes, just a couple of times a week, keeps you going. A tiny bit. Do you do lower lashes? A tiny bit, a roots kind of thing. Yeah, I've got quite a little, few little fair ones there that are being unnoticed. Yeah, there's a few couple little, of them. A few little gaps. A quick cotton bud. Mm-hmm. Let's have a little clean up. That's fine. I think sometimes I don't take enough time with my mascara. The lashes are fab and like they're all, sometimes you get like a little gap in your lashes, but yours no. seem to be a really good fan of, of a good amount of hair. Good amount of, good amount of hair, <laughs> you've got a good amount of hair on your eyes there. <laughs> so add a little tiny bit more concealer. Just under here again, is that for you? How long do you spend on your makeup for the work, for like an office day? And you've got meetings. So you're kind of seeing people. Yeah, I think I always kind of feel I need to be put together for the office. Um, I'd say 15 minutes kind of doing hair and makeup probably. My hair usually either blow dried out the night before. I don't tend to, to dry my hair in the morning. Do you so. blow your hair at night and get it all nice and ready? Oh, I love that. Well, Going to bed yeah. with a blow dry so glamorous. <laughs> That partner seem? must love it. And you know it's like going into bed rather than having like a scrunchie at the top of your head, you get in the end with like your most glamorous blow dry. It's just a time saving thing. Because I'm trying to meditate, journal, and do a bit of yoga in the morning now. That's the new January Sam. So far going oh, quite well. What time do you get up? But if I have to ask you. What time well, you I up? leave the house to go to work about 8 30. So I'm getting up half an hour early to do all of that. So it's you know, it's like five minutes journaling, just kind of key priorities, kind of determine the mindset. 15 minute meditation and 10 minutes of yoga, but it's... That's a miracle morning. There's a book yeah, called The Miracle now. Morning, but if you can get those three things done before you even step out of the house, then the rest of your day will pretty much be a lot more blissful. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think it gets your head in the right sort of mindset. Your Where's your blusher? Like this. And then I always eat breakfast. Can't leave the house with an empty tummy. What do you have for breakfast? Either mm, yoga, um, blueberries and nuts, or toasted peanut butter, a bit of protein. Right. You yeah. have to eat before you leave the house. I have to. Always. I'm quite nervous and, you know, I'll get a bit cranky. Girls, really? The girls you get hungry. It's be a little bit, <laughs> or just a bit, you know, why is there not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Tuesdays we do the sort of regular Instagram live with um, Dr. Emma. So, yeah, you kind of have to always be... Yeah, a little bit ready. It, also, you, know, you were saying you film every day, and I, I kind of feel like I should be filming every day. Well, I hate using the word should. So you need to be ready, don't you? You need to be ready, and you never know when an opportunity might arise where you need, you think, oh, this is an Insta moment, or this is the moment yes. I want to share. So you kind of exactly. do have to have a little, you've got to be camera ready almost <laughs> a little bit. Although I do quite like it when I'm literally wearing nothing and I jump on and I'm like, I think people really kind of like that as well when you are looking... You know, like a real girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of powder. People are quite often scared of powder under the eyes, and I guilty. Think, okay, would you put any powder ever under there? Under eyes, no. I mean, I, I only use the tiniest amount because I'm a bit neurotic. Um, powder and breakouts, unfortunately, can be, you know, difficult. So I tend to only use powder when I'm filming or for a special occasion. Otherwise, I just blot like a fiend. Okay. So you have, do you like blot papers? I do a lot. I always have them. They're a bit like lip balm. Um, bit of an addiction. Kind like constantly. Of. Like, yeah. The DHC day. ones I have. I buy in bulk. Really? Yeah, they're awesome. I bet you found them all around the house in your bag. And everything, <laughs> yeah, right? like, oh, there's, that's where <laughs> I left them. There we go. The stock pile. Right. This one is from Lipstick Queen. Mm. And this is a favourite of yours, right? As you can see, like down, <laughs> almost down to the, the bottom. Now, would you just use that? You can pop that straight on. So I would, yeah, I would tend to use this straight from the bullet. And then I would use a bit of a Givenchy, like a nude lip liner, just on the cupid's bow, middle of the lower lip and in the corners, like to get a bit of extra. 
outfit for lunchtime Shush. for lunch. Yeah. Right, you, know. you pop that on. I'll grab the okay. Givenchy liner because I use their liner. Do well. you? Yes, love Literally them. Literally twinning. I feel we, we can swap makeup bags today. You wouldn't even know it. <laughs> I have to be really honest, open your blusher. Mm -hmm. It's almost the same colour. They are basically the same product. So if okay. you're ever sure of one or the other, you could just tap this onto your cheeks. I would love just to put some on your cheeks. Ooh, um, let's that. have a little bit of this liner. Oh, funny. Tiny bit. Just on your cupid bow here. So fun. I do think liner is such a great like part of makeup. I love it because you can really manipulate shapes. You help the product to stay on for longer by kind of feathering it all over the lipstick on top. So you're kind of framing it and sandwiching in the shade. Yeah, that lip's gorgeous. Your lips look so like plumped oh, and healthy yeah. looking. How long have you been using the lip balm? How long has it been in your in your makeup bag or part of your routine, like honestly? Well, we've had a good six months. You know, because I've been in the office trials of products, friends, family, you know, there's a small circle. Right, so now you're basically, your friends just called you and you're going on a night out. So we're going to shush you up. Spontaneous <laughs> creature that I am. You're literally on your way out. You've got some shoes under it's the desk. Funny. You're going to throw them on. Mine never looks as nice when I do it like that. I bet it does. I should have watched you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on with the next look as well. So right, nice. we're going to do liner, but I'm going to use the... Uh... So yeah, so in terms of like, so if I was finding the, you know, say I didn't have this one, what, what do you think is the way to sort of track down the right nude for your colouring? Do you have some principles? What do you, or you, I mean, you I know, know you're doing it subliminally whenever you look at a face, you'll know one. Nude lips is like finding like a little black dress. It's like everyone has that certain shape they like for their lips or the certain like if your eyes are a certain color i'd say go for don't wash yourself out with a nude yeah like you know the nudes are uh, concealery nudes i'm like yes. it, nudes for me are this color that you've got nudes for me are um healthy. Are healthy they're rosy they can be more like sort of caramel brownie but like concealery nudes they should have their own name as a concealery nude because like the Linda so... Evangelista Spice Days, you know, whenever yes. those colours used to be so chalky, and I would put them on and go, why do I not look like that? Do yeah, you... she suited that, <laughs> and she, but she kind of a real matte skin, really quite pale, but Claudia Winkleman, I do her makeup sometimes, she loves a really canvassed, like, blocked out yes. lip, she doesn't any of her lip colour to start, like, to shine through, whereas I think it's really youthful to have a bit of colour in your lips, so it really is a preference thing. It's quite hard finding the right nude. Different aesthetics, You've got to try them on. You have to yeah. really try, like, try them on your hand. You put it like that, you're never going to see it. You actually have to have it like applied onto your lips. I'm going to put some more lip balm on you. Because this is nice on top of lips as well. Yeah, I, li I like a bit of gloss. I'm not really a matte person. I think for night time, it's a bit sexy, isn't it? Absolutely. And the lips do look so much more like so bigger when they are glossier. The optics are better. When the matte lip trend was everywhere everyone's lips were kind of dried <laughs> out and they were kind of looking a bit smaller whereas now they're kind of voluptuous and sexy and bigger right let's get a bit of a cat eye on you now you cat eye? Have you you always been cat eye? has it always been no, your thing i came late to the party and maybe that's why you know i i i think i discovered it like my mid-30s very did late you? I, I managed to go through all my 20s and never seeing so why did you never try it previously were you just not in that sort of zone or you just didn't really i don't know i never really. wore much eye makeup maybe it was those difficult you know junior doctor years maybe but um i don't know i think as part of the whole getting into doing media work and doing a bit of telly and stuff People have probably put it on you as well, and you've thought, right, I need you know to what? get a bit more of a look, like my yeah. signature thing or whatever. So what would you wear, like, when you were, when you said, like, when you were the doctoring, like, years ago? Like, what would you wear then, like? I would always wear skin stuff, and then, I don't know, a bit of brow, a bit of lash, but not much. Quite pared down each day. Yeah, yeah, very much so. But, I mean, I started doing media work, went to a TV show, maybe seven or eight years ago now and then I did a year working for Dolce & Gabbana when I launched their skincare brand so all of that kind of exposed me to maybe a slightly different world absolutely in a different world which was rather well. wonderful and then you know shortly after that launching the channel you know then you become you have to really get to know how your skin looks on camera a bit of definition exactly yeah absolutely definitely. and that gives you confidence and then you know you can deliver your message better. When did you start doing videos? 2017, February. That's quite so recent it's then. Three years ago, I was in New York for Fashion Week uh -huh. and I taped the phone to the bathroom wall. Love there was it. no lighting in there. Oh, I still God. cringe at the video, but and it's had the most hits I've ever, ever had. No. Half a million 
in a day. Awesome. And I was like, in a day? And I had a towel around my head. And so I still try and recreate that almost like bathroom, you know, like fly. two minute. Yeah, like, and I say, what is it about this video you guys like? And I mean, I get lots of random people saying, what's she doing? I can't keep up. So I used about 40 products. Um, <laughs> it was like that, 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 that. And I look back and think, God, I would have changed so many things now, but that one's just, that worked. And it gave me the confidence to do more and more from then. And it kind of all went from there. It was like almost an accident. It was. It <laughs> actually was. I, was, I remember the pushing the send of. button but being so scared. Can you hold that for me a sec? Yes, sir. I remember thinking, what if this, you kind of put yourself out there and it was really vulnerable actually doing it. But I'm so glad that I actually just bit, I bit the bullet and did it. Because it's Feel scary, isn't it? and do it anyway. Absolutely. Well, I think, I mean, I'm, I dare I say it, naturally quite a shy person. So all of this feels like you know, if you told me 15 years ago I'd be doing this. Listen, you're doing like dancing you. videos and you're Oh no, no, let's <laughs> <laughs> The Sunday girl one's my favourite. And I'm, you need to show me TikTok because you're all over it. Okay, well we can do a video about you and I Absolutely. discovering TikTok together. All right, oh. so open up. So I've just got your liner on without a wing at this stage. Okay. We're gonna give you a little bit of a wing and we're gonna build it up. Now look straight for me. When it comes to doing a wing, I never keep the eyes closed. I keep the eyes open and I just gently feather out a nice shape and mm -hmm. then kind of build on it from that. If you close your eye and pull the eye up, it's generally going to be a little bit... It'll move bit around when you relax squid. it. Yeah, absolutely. So keep the eye open. And that goes for the same when you're doing your own makeup as well. You think I should graduate onto a gel liner? I think you should try. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that could be another video. Exactly. Sam's fails. <laughs> I do love the pens as well. They're almost a bit more black than the gel liners. I think there's like an old world glamour though. I always feel a bit more, I don't know, Sophie Loren vibes when I do it. You know, Absolutely. Like this. I don't know. I love that kind of, I quite like to have the, the 50s. I can see that in you with this mm. look actually. Do you take your makeup off every time you get in from a night out? Like every single, like, I can, yes. like do you ever not? Have you ever not? Yeah, not. Not not whilst conscious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like if you, I, I just, yeah. I can't imagine that you've ever not, but I, has there been any other occasion where you wake up in the middle of the night? I mean, I've night? maybe not gone to bed all night and then it stayed on, but okay. that's probably, that's as bad as it would be. Even after a, a good few drinks, you're oh, still yes. always, I lo yeah. Yes. I mean, that's just, it's just like a, it's like breathing. I yeah, think it's kind me. of like, it's built in, isn't it? Yeah. I might not have taken my eye makeup off, but I'll definitely have cleaned my skin. skin. Is that weird? I think that's just the, the hangover of anyone who's had problem skin. You just get so particular. Particularly when you found solutions, you become quite wedded to the solutions, no matter what. Yeah. I have my airplane routine down now. It used to be that long haul flights were, you know, were tricky, but... Um, so what do you do on your long haul flight? Well, I, I truly believe that drying out blemish prone skin not only makes it dry, but it also makes it break out. It's kind of this sort of stress default. So I think the key is to use like really good quality non-comedogenic moisturizer throughout. Literally, like I'm doing an overnight flight and I'll wake up. <gasps> I'm, not, I'm not moisturized. And you apply more. And I'll apply more. So like, uh, yeah, almost a fetish. And I'll always use my retinoid if I'm sleeping on the plane. I've got my micellar water to take makeup off as soon as I get on the plane. So I've gone straight from the office or something. I might even remove it before I get on the plane. <laughs> what about the mists? Like the kind of refresh, would you do any of that? I don't bother. I think if you start off with a slightly damp face after you've cleansed, I always rinse off the water, the micellar water, so I never kind of leave any residue behind. So, okay. you know, I'll hog the bathroom at the beginning of the flight for some time <laughs> as I get ready. Um, and then if you just keep the reapplication up, you should never really need to put the water back because it should be there from the get-go. Does that make sense? Yeah. So also, less products are needed. You just need the right ones for so. a flight. And no masks. Oh, I don't know that. Like, you, you know, know what? what? In truth, I, I think masks are a nice treat for your brain. Do you really need a mask in your routine? I don't think so if you're using the right hydration step on a daily basis. And let's face it, we should be doing that. Absolutely. But after a plane, you sometimes feel like, yeah, I need a little something extra. <gasps> you like? I love this. This is the only <laughs> thing I don't have in my makeup bag, but I need it. It's so young. I can just feel that texture. It's going to be so nice to blend. I and it's easy to blend. last year. Um, Which was, brand is this? It's Atelier Westman. Yes. So yummy. 
I was shopping with another American um, beauty blogger, Renee Gothamista. Do you know yes, her? Yes, yeah, yeah. Who is wonderful. And um, yeah, we we kind of got carried away a little bit in Barney's. But this but I love that. that so much. Did someone try it on you or did you hear about it or did she mention it? Like, how did it happen? So... Because contouring is something that people are sometimes afraid of doing and to, you know, actually have something that's manual. It's quite brown, like isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it's just like, it's quite brave just to kind of go, right, this is <laughs> my, my makeup routine from now. So whenever I was doing TV, um, Anastasia, who does my makeup a lot um, for events and things, um, used to come with me to do the TV show. So together we used to like, we crafted my sort of TV look after a difficult first season where the makeup wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. Anyway, part of that was this MAC, like I think professional range contouring right. stick that we jokingly yeah. called Beef because it was so brown Beefy. looking. <laughs> I don't know what color it actually was called. Anyway, um, sculpt or something. And, and you know, when I saw that in New York, however many years later, I thought, oh my God, it's the closest to beef that I've ever seen. <laughs> and then I tried the texture and it was so sheer and blendable. And I thought, yes, that's I for me. I actually have sculpt, which is beef Do in, you my, have in, it? in my kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but this is really nice. It's got nice. no red or pink yeah, or... Yeah, it's all it's cool, it's cool undertones. Yes, that's and it. And a lot of the times with contour, if you actually did have something over your head, it would never be bronzy. So when people are using bronzers to contour with, it's, all wrong, it's so it? obvious that it's not natural. Whereas this just looks like your cheekbone pops and your, yeah. The, the way amazing. the light it should, yeah. interacts, it just kind of, and it just, it just dissolves to nothing. So you really don't run the risk of, as an amateur, leaving oh, the house love it. looking, um, your cheek, but like wrong. that, you're literally, your cheekbones are popping. <laughs> Sam, we are going out. Oh. Yeah, I love this. You're very good at making a girl feel good. Oh, I love doing it. It's such an important thing whenever you get your makeup done, right? That, oh, know. God, yeah, because you're kind of putting the trust into somebody else, and if they're just really quiet, it'd be a bit weird. I am, um, I'll never forget sort of having my makeup done in a, in a department store when I was very, like, early teens, and... You know, she was like, let's do something different. And I was covered in orange bronzer, like really orangey stuff and like blue mascara. And I, I had to, my mum, get the car and come around and collect me because I was so embarrassed. <laughs> you're like, like, I can't, someone, I can't bear this. Someone from school might see me. You know, it was, that was how uncomfortable oh. I felt. But you know, and you're plonked on a stool in the middle of a store. Anyway. Can I put a bit of bronzer on you? This is like something I use my makeup bag every day, mm. Givenchy. It's called the Healthy Glow Powder. Okay. And it's different from other bronzers. There's no glitter going through it. There's no particles. So it just looks like you've just stepped out of like a cruise or a desert sun. It's not, it's definitely not got that kind of bronzery feel. Okay. I'm just going to add another lipstick, which is your favourite, which is the Burberry one, which I need to get one of because I... You like it? stunning shade ever, yeah. What it's shade is that? English Rose. So it's very like, classic. But my sixth or seventh. But again, it's quite sheer. I don't tend to like opaque lipsticks so much. Okay. You, is that because um, you like the texture of them? I think I, I, I kind of like a sort of, it's not a gloss, but you know what I mean? A kind of sheer satin finish. Yeah. I think that's what I it like. It looks super faster than the lips. I think that's it. it. Probably, I've got quite a small mouth and it just gives a little bit more dimension. I'm going to add this on top of the other colour. Because that's I'm so glad sick. you like those as nudes for me. Yeah, they're great. I love your posts on or nudes. It really is a personal thing. You you've those. found the right, you sound the, uh, you found your exact shade, <laughs> haven't you? Well, I stood in front of the Mac counter at the airport recently with your, uh, one of your nude posts, like going no. through them all. I did. That's so funny. Which airport are you at? Oh, Heathrow, I think. I always pop into Mac because obviously I've worked for them for so many years. It mm. just feels so, just the home. smell of it. Yeah, even the plastic <laughs> smell is like going back in time. I'm going to add some more lip um, pencil as well, just to kind of, just enhance the shape look slightly. Let's, uh, We're going to overdraw a bit. Va va voom. Right, I'm going to watch you do this. Is that all right? Of course. Right. Right, so start in the outer corner. Mm hmm Cupid's bow, you want to kind of sort of aim towards like the top of the ear almost. So mm -hmm. kind of make a nice love heart shape. If you've got that shape already, which you do. And don't be afraid to kind of yeah. over plump it a little bit because... It's a natural shade. I'm a bit timid, I think. And then under here, mm -hmm. take it a little bit under. <laughs> it makes such a difference and I get a little bit more, just a tiny bit more volume. Mm, that's nice for camera. Really nice. I need to be a bit bolder. <laughs> a bit chicken. Would you wear eyeshadows or anything? 
I don't tend to, but it doesn't mean I'm averse to it. It's more just... I generally think if you've got enough definition on the lash line... You don't really need it. Do, and I've got quite a deep socket anyway, but, I mean... I think with the lip and that liner and the brow... There's enough going it's perfect, on. perfect, yeah. yeah. Is there enough blush there for you? And the eyes are really pretty. Love. Love. Really romantic. Oh, where are we going now? Her down. <laughs> You're good to go. Let's go for an upper roll and a glass of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel amazing. I'm so delighted we finally did this. Absolutely. And thank so you nice. so much. Can we do it again? <laughs> Soon, please. We'll try a different lip on you one day. Would you okay. let me? Yeah, I should Maybe one day. Okay, yeah. perfect. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you soon.